Hello everyone and welcome back to another ECADET video. Today we are going to see how is working the billing in Google Cloud. As you can see on the screen, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to the billing and we are going to choose the billing that we have. So the idea today is review what are the different options that we have here when we start to check our billing options. This is a real case, it's a real scenario. And as you can see, we are going to see here the different costs that we have. In this case, we have some number of credits that Google gave to us and the cost that we have every month. As you can see in the report, we have the different costs that we have, for example, in this case, month by month. In this folder, we can choose different options. For example, if we only want to see the information in this project, let's go to, for example, to the project test. And we can see that something happened here. So we were spending a lot of money in this test. Okay, a lot of money, few times, but we were spending a lot of money in this project and something happened. So let's see what could be this case. As you can see here in this project test, we have a big expenses that is because of something that we don't know here because we are not having any information. So we know that this computer engine, the thing that is spending more money, so but we don't know really what it is. To do this discover, what I recommend you is this option here in group by. So you have you can see that there are many, many, many ways to group. For example, you can group for many components, but in this point is group by service, date, uh, date and service, date and SQ. If we go, for example, to this date and SQ, what we are going to see here is that the top one is this static IP chart. So there were an static IP that it was up and running until the 10th of January. And what happened this day? This day, someone removed this IP. And now what we have is a amount of money in the storage, but it's only few themes. Here you have different options to see the different ways that you are spending the, the cost. For example, in this cost table, in this cost breakdown, where you can see the, the amount of money or in dollars or in percentage. And now there is here something is important for us. That is the budgets and the alerts. What we do in this budgeting and these alerts? In this budget and this alert, what we are doing is we are telling, hey, I want you to tell me when something is happening in my project or in my billing account and it's crossing a limit. But this limit is a monetary limit, for example. And you can see here, we have a limit of 30 dollars, 30 euros, sorry. And as soon as we cross this limit, something is happening. In this case, it's going to send to us an email. What we are going to do here now. So we have this budget of 30, that it is connected to all these five projects, connected to all the services, connected to this organization. And we are going to do now is we are going to change this amount and we're going to give, for example, a budget of 60 euros. And why I said this 60 euros? Because it's going to cross. Because I want to know, and I know that it's going to be every month something like more or less 70. I want to know when this value is crossed because this value more or less, I need to receive the email, for example, the 26 or 27 of every month. If I receive, for example, this email, the day 10 or the day 5, I know that something is happening. Okay. You can execute options in different levels. For example, the first one is with 50%, that is going to be 30 euros, 90% and 100%. And what alerts do we have? For example, you have here an email, but you can do many, many things. You can link to an email, uh, you can link to a monitor email notification, but the most important one is this when you connect to a pub sub to trigger something. This is something that we're going to see in a different video. And what happened here? When we connect here and there is no pub sub queue here, in this case, you can choose the product, but there is no for that. We will create one for you. What we are going to do is next. You can do something, for example. Imagine that we create a budget only for this project test. And we know that this is test. Then something that we can do is we can say, okay, so as soon as you reach the 100%, kill every machine. Imagine that this is computer engine and I want you to kill all the machines or something better. Stop the machines because this is going to be better for me. Or disconnect the project to this billing account. Or for example, send an information to Slack because you can create a code here and this pub sub is going to be connected to a code. And what is going to happen is that it's going to send to Slack and to everyone, hey, we are reaching this level. You can do hundreds of things. We have more elements with this cost optimization, but this is something that we'll see in another video too. This is only to show you how it's working this information and how Google is offering to you the capacity to be able to create a report. I hope that you enjoy and see you 
next time. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.